All right, friends, my name is Emil. I have a web show beginning July 5th called Something You May Know on somethingyoumayknow.com and also keep up a pretty regular blog. Recently, Hype came out, and I think everybody who has a Mac and at the App Store bought it started designing their pages and ran into a few problems. I use Hype and Squarespace for both of my websites, and I'm going to show you how not only do I upload it to Squarespace to get it work properly, but also how to make it search engine friendly. So it's a little ghetto, but let's do this, and I hope it works for you. First, you want to here's Music Tech Blog. This is it. First thing we do is compress it. I have our compressed music tech blog right there. Then we go to our Squarespace account. Here's mine, site management. You go to file storage. Here you're going to make a new directory, create directory. And this is just for this page, and it's called music tech. Being very careful to make sure the title of this is the title of your saved project. Save and close. Go to music tech. Uh, move that one. Upload files. Make sure you say decompress files after uploading. Select files. We want music tech zip. Open. Begin upload. There's a 20 megabyte limit on this, but I don't think any hype files are ever going to exceed that. I mean, they're very small. So now here we are. Here's our music tech directory. Go to content editing and post new entry. Um, I'm going to title this music plus technology. Then make sure to turn this into raw HTML. Okay. Music technology. Now Go to your Evernote account or wherever you store things and you want this div tag right here. Copy. If you need it, you can at me at emilstuff, E-M-I-L-S-S-T-U-F-F, -S -S and I'll direct message it to you. And this is my template right here. There's a few things we have to change. First thing we're going to change is the My Document file. This is going to be called whatever your director was called. It's called Music Tech making sure that it's all lowercase, you don't want to add anything weird, just make it all very simple. Now, we're also going to change the size. Mine is 520 by 2500. 2500. Then you go back to your file storage, you click on your music tech, you go to music tech resources, and you get your hype generated script URL. Copy it, and then you replace the area only in quotation marks with that. Bam. Now, before we add tags, anything like that, save and close. And there it is. There is my fully rendered uh, page. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Now, here's where the fun part comes in. We hit modify and before we do anything let's go over here and here's my entire uh, blog right here in pages that I wrote beforehand copy it and you come in here and just go right before the div tag and paste now you say this is going to come up before everything. Well, let's watch. Save and close. You see, it's still here. Everything's there. There's nothing there. I'll tell you why. You make a new page, a new journal entry. I went from Emil's Communique to what I'm saying for just this reason. You go into Style Editor, and then go to Fonts, Colors, and Sizes. Now I click right here, Entry Body. If you see, the font size is, I can make it bigger, but you won't see anything. So I'm going to make it two pixels. The reason you don't see anything is because I made the font color white. You can make it black, and now you can see this whole area has those words. There it is. So now search engines that crawl your page will see it, and 
report back everything that's in your blog. All of a sudden, with Squarespace anyway, and with Hype, it's search engine friendly. All that information's here. It's searchable. You just can't see it. You keep this. Uh, back to this. So now, here it is, looking beautiful, and I can make it a little smaller. Let's go font size. There we go. Make it. Let's make it one pixel. Set. There we go. Save changes. So now you've got a fully uploaded site. When somebody goes on it, they see your beautifully designed hype thing that works perfectly. And more importantly, in my opinion, the search engines can find it. So if we go to my Google Reader and uh, let's sign out of here. Sign in. Not much stuff. Uh, why do I always forget this? Ah, that's why. So now we're in. We go to Google Reader. Let's go to animalstuff.com. And bam. Look at this. There is your file. Google Reader can read it. So if people are looking at it at an RSS feed, they still see everything that you've written in your blog. And they can just read it like this. Or they can go to your page and see the beautifully laid out thing. If you have any questions, you can email me at emilmusic, E-M-I-L-M-U-S-I-C. And I'll be glad to get back to you. Or visit my blog, hit the Emil stuff and talk to me on Twitter. Thanks.